Hello viewers, welcome you everyone in my today's video. Just today I will discuss uh, one of the lesson from standard 6. Okay, let us start my lesson. I am Wahidur Islam, assistant teacher, ICT Jalabad Kentor Main School and College. I welcome everyone. So, this is the picture. Um, viewers or my dear students. Can you guess about our today's subject? There is some ICT rela related devices, some printers, microphone, laptop, and some other devices. So from the devices, already you get the idea what is our today's subject. But today I will discuss standard six ICT chapter two lesson three. So. Look at the picture, please. What are the pictures? There is one mouse, there is printer, there is keyboard. So, what are these devices? These devices, can you think anything about it? What type of devices is this? This is our today's topic. Okay, let us see. Our today's lesson is input and output devices. What is our today's uh, objectives? Our today's lesson objective is that uh, after after listening this video, students will be able to say uh, what is input and output devices, and uh, the students can prepare the list of input and output devices. A student can describe the function of different parts of input uh, devices. These are the objectives of our today's lesson. Let us see. look at the picture look at the picture so uh, the pictures are input devices input devices uh, there is the picture of fingerprint and then uh, the keyboard the mouse light pen uh, web camera and uh, some uh, what uh, a barcode reader then these all about input devices so what is input device do you know what is input device let us discuss about input device. Input device are the devices which are used to treat the data or information into the computer, such as a keyboard. Keyboard, how keyboard is input device? Suppose if we want to write anything uh, in any programs, just we use keyboard. And using mouse, we can give the command to the computer. So suppose we want to write something, or if you want to write your name also, you, we use the keyboard. Or if we want to confirm any command, give any input, then we use mouse also. Then what? We input our, we give the input our uh, what? For example, fingerprint, and biometric system or biometric attendant device, the passport office or some other offices. We use fingerprint. This also used to use as an input device. So these are the example of input device. Let us listen again. What is input device? Input device are the devices which are uses to put the data or treat the data into the computers. Computer that is called input device. For example, keyboard, mouse, barcode reader, uh, biometric attendance device, then webcam, then what, a light pen. These things are input device. Then output device. Let us see some example of output devices. Printer. Such as this printer and monitor. Look at this the screen of a computer. After drawing any after putting the data into the computer, just we see the result in the monitor. So this monitor is an output device. Is an output device. This printer also output device. And uh, such as uh, printer, plotter, uh, TV screen, these are output device. So, I mean, 
uh, already you got the point you have clear idea what is input and output device output devices let us say again what is the definition of output device output device are the devices which are after process uh, output device is the devices which gives us output after the example of output devices then okay let us now from today's discussion just you can do some task your individual task is what is input device and what is output device then stop the video here then you can do this task and after stop this video you can complete your task then you can match your answer with me the devices which are used to treat data or information into the computer that is input device the devices which are used to give us the result after processing that is output device okay let us see the pictures then complete the following table the this is webcam then uh, this is also webcam speaker then monitor then printer uh, there is the printer then headphone there is another printer there is microphone so let us complete the table uh, you, actually i set up um, set it this one is as a pair work but though now your school is off and you don't have to uh, don't have chance to do it with your peer so you will do it individually so input devices and output devices you will you can you will get uh, this uh, what um, you will get the informations the uh, from the earlier picture you can uh, go back uh, to your video then you you can uh, what you can do it complete the table then okay you have the chance to meet with me input devices mouse keyboard digital camera scanner then output devices monitor printer speaker headphone these are the output devices okay now function of different keys of a keyboard there is a keyboard and there i shows here by marking backspace then what tab key then shift key space bar control and enter key some special key just i will i will discuss about about the main keys of keyboard let's start what is shift key what is the function of shift key shift key we use to write the text in capital letter suppose if our if our caps lock key is off then if we press shift key and write anything then we will get the text in capital and some symbol such as and then some other symbols if we press shift key then we will get it then space bar key space bar key specifically we use to get some space use used to give some space between two words or character then control key control key we use to uh, we use to give some special commands such as for saving any command we use control s for printing control p for what uh, copy any text control c for paste control p like this then enter key enter key we used to, we give specially for confirming any command suppose um, just uh, when any dialog box will one yes or not then if we can select yes or not and press enter then it will confirm the command or if we after writing any line if we press enter then the cursor will go to the next line then backspace key backspace key suppose sometimes we do any mistake if we do the some mistakes then we can correct it by we can erase it by giving backspace if we press backspace key then it will erase from right side to left side so what we discuss and tab key tab key suppose uh, we are working in a table so if you press tab key then automatically it will go to the next box then if we put the cursor in last cell of the table then it will uh, automatically we will get another new what new table or column in another class i will show it in practically so that you will get more clear idea and what i discuss here you can check it by doing practical let us do some evaluation for it. check your yourself on how much you have learned from today's class you have two question here question number a why we use caps lock key there has two option 
give space between two character or word option two write the text in capital question number b what is the function of have key option a one writing symbols option two giving equal space in every line just stop the video here then write your answer then again apply the video and check your answer please solution why we use caps lock write the text in capital that is answer a answer b what is the function of tab key give equal space between every line that is your answer please now your homework let us take some homework describe the function of following keys like is backspace control space bar enter key shift key and tab key this homework you will complete at your homework copy please don't forget to uh, do your homework properly and what uh, you after doing homework you can play the video again and check it by yourself by matching with me if you have any question if you have any question you can ask me by giving your important comment i'll try to give you answer please and in next class i will give your solution inshallah which homework i have given you the, the answer of these homeworks i will try to give you in next class the yes, students now is the time is not good so that's why thank you very much i'm not uh, staying for a long time with you so keep yourself safe and thank you everyone thank you again please pray for me assalamu alaikum